I'm Dr. Angela McBrady of drflute.com, and today's flute tip is on Marcel Moise's book called Scales and Arpeggios. This book, which looks like this, is a fantastic book that I stumbled upon probably at a flute convention and I was looking for, I think I was uh, in my uh, grad school days and I was looking for something else. I needed another technique book. I'd been using my technique books for a long time and I, I needed something else to practice. Uh, something that was not maybe just scales, but offered a little variety. And I bought this one on a whim and have since fallen in love with this book. If you don't have it, you need to go out and get it because it is a fantastic book to work on. It gives you so much variety and uh, it gets through all your different keys, all your different scales, all your different arpeggios in such a, a, an interesting way that I never, never get bored with this particular one. Now, let me also give you an idea of what uh, is in the opening of this book. And uh, I use it this way. Now you don't have to, just because it's written here at the beginning of the book, doesn't mean that you must use the book the way they've said to use it. You can go through and play the, uh, you know, page by page, play the scales and arpeggios the way they say, or you can follow this. So this is a schedule of what to do. It doesn't have dates on it, but in one day, I will play across the top, everything that's across the top. And it's going to keep me in relatively the same key signature, the same type of scales and arpeggios and, uh, in, you know, infinite number of variety, however, however many that is across the top, it, it goes through those. I love doing those. I get to not stay with one so long that I'm bored with it, but I can play one and play it a number of times. I, okay, I'm comfortable. Let me move on to the next one. And what I do is I use number this first line, if I'm going to start here, for a week. So I play them every day for a week, and then I will move on to the next row. Now, as you can see, I have some arrows pointing here because uh, I will erase those from time to time and start anew if I'm going to start this book again. And once you're somewhere over here, you think that you're going to remember where you are, but you think, wait, did I do 289 or, or I'm down here? So I put arrows so that I can keep track of what line I am doing at any given time. Uh, but I will play that entire line for a week and then I will move on to the next one. If you don't have this book, you need to get it. It's great variety. Some of the exercises in there are just so difficult uh, and they cause any number of problems. And I hate working on it, but then I love working on it because it helps my fingers in some way that I didn't know I was having problems with. At some point, uh, when I've learned it well enough, I will put a metronome on and see if I can keep the same tempo all the way through. And let me tell you, that's a challenge. Some of these exercises are, oh man, they're maddening. They just get you uh, and make your fingers work. And keeping that metronome on uh, all the way through is a really fun challenge. Uh, so try that. Get to this book. Try working all the way through doing a line at a time for a week before you move on to the next one and see if you see the changes that's going to make in your fingers, uh, helping your fingers move better, the, train the muscles better, and just your reading, how you read the music. I think it helps with your sight reading as well. So get this book and try it. I think you'll enjoy working on it. It gives you new variety from the uh, exercises perhaps that you're doing. And because one exercise is not terribly long, here's the first one. And um, you can see that you can play it with all these different keys. And it will tell you that you're doing it with number one. You're just doing this exercise with one for the day. And uh, then you do it up the octave as high as you can go. So you're going all the way up the octaves uh, to your highest C's and D's. And um, so you're not stuck with one page. And I think that's a, just a fun mind game for us that we're here. We're like, oh man, the same page all the time. I just got to keep doing that same page. Uh, and, but if we can turn the page, oh, I've accomplished that. I've actually done that. You feel like you've accomplished something. 
So get this book. It will change your practice. It'll give you something more to work on your third uh, part of your practice day that is dedicated to tone and technique. And it gives you more to work on with your fingers and it will reveal issues that you didn't even know you had. Have fun working on Scales and Arpeggios by Marcel Moïse. That's today's flute tip. If you like today's flute tip, press the like button, subscribe, comment below, and share it with your friends.